of just, yeah. Okay, so, sorry, I forgot that's my cue. Okay. Um, I feel like this isn't going to make a lot of sense at first, so hopefully Emmanuel will be able to help us out, <laughs> or Tim. Um, okay, so the very first thing that I saw was a train that had the head of the train was an elephant and the carts were from the circus the red the red carts and the bars and they had numbers on them and i actually in praying with emmanuel had seen the elephant and some circus stuff before i i, did, I don't know what it means but it, this is recent um saturday mm -hmm. i had seen that too um anyway this not the same thing just an elephant and circus Anyway, so this train was leaving and going away. Um, and below it on a hillside were these sheep. And they were, this is a very, very cartoon, childlike vision. This wasn't in real life at all. And it was very specifically not in, in human, you know, flesh that you could see. It was very childlike on purpose. So I saw these sheep and what what I noticed most about them was that they were like the cartoon kind. They were black with the fluffy white wool. And they were some were gathering flowers in a wild flowers and putting them in like a bushel and other ones. Most of them were grazing, but some were like, you know, happy and and filling up their arms with flowers. So I saw that. The next thing that I saw was um a barbed wire fence and I saw a coyote coming and it stuck its head through the um, barbed wire and it kind of moved its head back and forth trying to get in. It was, it was a coyote because I could tell by its fur. It had like orange tint to the top of it and it wasn't huge. It wasn't a huge wolf or anything. It was a coyote um, and it couldn't get in. So it opened its mouth and a deer came out. And at first this deer was just grazing along with these sheep. And then it took on a whole other shape, not a whole other shape, a whole other persona or whatever it's called when you change your character entirely. Cause at first it was just grazing with the sheep. It then, it, it then turned it, well it was, it, it felt like it was like a, a deer uh, without the antlers, like a girl, I guess, do boys, no. do some boys have no horns? Only when they're young, I think, right? Only when they're young. Um, Maybe it was a young one, I don't know. But it was, it didn't have any horns, but then I saw it like grow its horns and then the horns turned into like a ram's oh. horn and it got evil and it like came after the sheep. Oh. And it came running with like fire with it, with its red eyes towards the sheep. And I didn't see, at this point, as this is happening, off in the distance behind it, I saw fox in a hen house. But these fox had gotten into the hen house and they were plucking the feathers off of the chickens. Then it came back up front to this picture in the, in the front and this ram had rammed this rabbit. There was a rabbit in the field too. It had rammed hard against this rabbit and the rabbit sort of slow motion flew back. Um, and I kept thinking, what's going on with the sheep? Or what's going on with the sheep? Are the sheep getting hurt? Because I'm watching the chickens get hurt. I'm watching the rabbit get hurt. I'm wondering if the sheep are okay. So then, at this point, I see the sheep. And they're, they're grazing still. But then, like, they hear something. I think they hear the father's voice, to be honest. I think they hear the shepherd. I think they hear God. And they begin to kind of go up these the stairs. But they're not stairs. They are, um, almost like, um, they're going up, but they're not stairs. They're like pieces of machinery that you can kind of go on. The word that I heard was like, um, what's that called when, when all the things are in motion? Um, have you heard that saying? Uh, like a cogs and a clock? Like Is it like... The, the cogs are in motion or the mechanics are in motion oh. or something. These were mechanical, every, things are in, when things are synchronized, 
Well, when things are going on, like when things yeah. are going on, everything's in motion. Uh-huh. You know, we're all in, everything's... All in. But the sheep are walking across these things while they're in motion. Yeah. So they would kind of move a little bit. And the sheep had... And they weren't scared. They kept going. And there was no... I don't see any emotion on the sheep's face. Like, oh, I'm going to fall or anything like that. They heard the call. They got onto this 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 way up. It was a way to go up into the heavens. Mm. Um, and I, I'm very specific. It wasn't a staircase, but it functioned as that. Mm. But all the the plans were in motion or cogs were in motion or whatever these things mm. are that we're stepping on were kind of going up and down as they were, excuse me, as they were going up. Mm. So when they got to the top, I could see it was the it was Jesus or it was the Father. I didn't see his face. That's what made me think it was the father. Cause, mm-hmm. But I saw his feet at the bottom of the staircase. And as these little sheep, I'm going to say they're, what, two feet? Is that about two feet? Mm-hmm. These two little, very cartoon-like mm-hmm. um, sheep, fluffy things with the black heads. Mm-hmm. He reaches down and he takes he takes something. And at first I was like, are you putting something on them or taking it off? But he takes the fullness of their wool and sets it aside. And then they're able to come up into like the heavens. And they're full-grown Lamb? Is it a lamb? You? I don't know. But you uh, is the adult. all I could see was that it was no longer like this baby sheep. It was this mm-hmm. like a real lamb almost. Wow. I can't tell if it's if it's still a cartoon. I don't think it. Th- there's a difference the way that I see things. I see a lot of things in a not cartoon but not real life. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know how to maybe a drawing or mm-hmm. something like that to mm-hmm. where it's not like I'm watching a cartoon, but it's not like. I could touch it and I could see it like I could see you because something yeah. something happens in the vision where it's it's like this but this was not that but it wasn't the childlike mm. view I was seeing before like with mm-hmm. the train and with the sheep and all this was sort of like cartoony actually the sheep were cartoony the 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 um Where coyote was not and neither mm-hmm. really was the the deer that turned into the mm. ram really Besides the fire. But anyway, just I see things differently. So I don't know if that means something different. Anyway, when the, sh- when the little sh- sheep turned into these lambs or whatever they are full grown, it was a pure white lamb. That's why I say lamb because it reminds me of like the lamb of God or whatever. But they were full grown and they were strong. Hmm. Anyway, and so as they are coming up the stairs, they all line up. These white lambs, full grown, strong they all line up and you can see off in the distance that a war is coming and you see them and they're, they're raging with anger. They're raging with fire and they're just, they're a mess. The war that's coming is just a mess. They're coming with all their force and all their strength and they're coming and they're coming and they're coming and they're just wild and unruly and just angry and ragey. But these, sh- these lambs are all lined up and they have these swords and they don't move. Mm. They don't budge. They don't move. They don't make a... You couldn't mm. see a hair on their body wow. move. And they just stand with strength. Mm. And as this war comes up, I was a little bit afraid in my own, I think, humanness. Like, what's going to happen? Like, I didn't know. I didn't know what was going to happen. Like, if they were going to win or lose or what. But anyway, as they come up towards the lamb, the swords go up. And, like, the battle kind of goes like this I I know we're recording so it's hard to explain and show you but the sword instead of straight out goes up into the air to where it's sort of like a shield it becomes almost a shield all these swords standing up straight become like a shield and this this raging war comes jump like in falls back into itself almost oh wow and like destroy almost destroys itself Mm, wow um so the, the ending, which is really strange. So this happens in this really big way in the heavens. Okay. There is a definite switching over into the heavens, into the spiritual realm of mm. things. Wow. I start to see in human form, like in the way that I can see my own flesh and skin, I start to see everyday farm animals, like chickens and goats and cows, like just eating, mm. like in a pasture in a, in a farm. And then I see like a drive-in theater big screen. And then I see like a like a um, screw with a bolt being drilled in. Mm. So I start to see like things taking place mm. in the real world, if that makes sense. But they weren't like these solid things that I could be like, I saw a car being made or I saw mm-hmm. 
But it was very weird, the switch, the change. That's why I was so clearly stating the, the way I saw um, the cartoon-like and then like the animated but not so cartoon-like to the real life world mm. um, was just drastic. The, the change in the mm. scene was just very drastic. I was like, oh, I'm seeing real life now. Mm. Um, so that made me think it was physical. But um, I definitely just saw like farm animals. And I don't know, if I, at first I'm like, well, we were just talking about farms. But, I mean, I saw, oh, this is the clinic for Kayla. Anyway, um, I saw those things. So, just like in the, in the plane. Huh. Yeah. <coughs> so, that was it. Wow. I don't know if that's meant to be seen more as far as that goes, but. Hmm. That was it. Wow. Bless the Lord. Hmm. Do you need it? I'm sorry. You can't well, answer I don't know, y'all. Just either leave a message. Yeah. It's my turn. So we're going to use the potty now. Hmm. I don't know how to find your messages on here. I thought that it turned out like a voicemail. Yeah, I was just going to see if they were going to pop one up for you. Mm. Anyway. Wow. I'm still stuck on the circus train the beginning like you know i guess because circus has seen like a negative connotation <laughs> but you're also saying it's childlike until well, the end so it's like i don't think it was a the, tr the circus is a positive thing yeah like i think that's like a i can't circus. remember what i saw when i was with emmanuel with the elephant mm -hmm. oh i do now i do now it wasn't a positive thing. Mm -hmm. It was a, like a makeshift type of thing. Like mm -hmm. something that, and it was passing by. Mm -hmm. It was passing, it was mm -hmm. going away. Mm -hmm. So I don't know where the Lord is going. Like, I know what we're praying about. I know what we're, we're asking him for. Mm -hmm. So I don't want to assume anything because I'm not, I'm not good. And obviously, Emmanuel, and like I said, Tim probably know better than me. But I think of old ways. Mm -hmm. I think of the old way of things passing by and going mm -hmm. off. And, and it was really a circus. It really mm -hmm. was. Like, all, all the ways that we learn, have right. learned, and have taught kids or we've been taught all that was a circus it was mm -hmm. a joke right so i just think of it that way as far as if it's uh, if it's pertaining to what we're praying over right now mm -hmm. i don't pretend to know <laughs> but i'm assuming so and, and but again you don't want to yeah so. hmm. but but also there being real enemies there's real enemies that are unable to get in. There's enemies that come in as almost like a wolf in sheep clothing. Even though it wasn't a wolf, it was a deer. Mm -hmm. That was an enemy. There's foxes that are inside places. It's just like, there are enemies. Well, we say time and time again, you know, this is for the building of the next generation. And we are building an army for God. Mm -hmm. it, within ourselves, too. But, mm -hmm. you know... When you think about the war that is raging and why we are doing what we're doing, you know, it's not just so that we can put our golden star on our chart and look what we did, you mm -hmm. know, look what we raised. Yeah. <laughs> you know, obviously it's for so much more and such a big outside of our even... Even to get a glimpse, like you said, what were you saying earlier about the over, like to have a vision of not just the mm -hmm. day to day, but to really have a vision of the over mm -hmm. all encompassing reasons and purpose of God. And um, it's just, it's just so far beyond and so much greater than what we could even fully grasp. Well, and even thinking like, oh, go ahead. No, you go. I'm sorry. Well, I was just thinking of a sheep, you know, very, and that God is even, uh, the Lamb of God is very 
humble way to look at something as an army. An army of sheep? Yeah. Sound scary. <laughs> yeah. And, but, you know? but the change, mighty, I guess. the change was what was amazing. Wow. To be a sheep that's just grazing or to be a sheep that's picking flowers mm-hmm. in a very childlike, aloof, almost mm-hmm. away. Mm-hmm. It's like people are, there's enemies at the gate trying to get in. They're sending people in, hidden. And we're all, do, 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 boop, bop, I'm going to have some grass and pick flowers. Yeah. Um, but when they hear the voice of the Lord going up and receiving that and having something taken off of them mm-hmm. and then fully changed into something that is still a sheep, yeah. but completely different, mm-hmm. completely ready for battle, completely strong and ready, mm-hmm. not moved by the enemy, not moved by anything. It's just like, whoa. I just keep thinking too, and I again could be wrong because I don't really know, but um, you know, in asking the Lord for a reality of things, you know, to pray, of course, but asking the Lord, okay, Lord, you're saying step into things, we'd like to know what to step into, but to see Him sort of maybe in this vision showing. the getting ready of oneself and the readiness of that battle in the spiritual warfare or spiritual realm mm. produces things here, mm. produces things that we are talking about. Like, I think of that drive-in movie theater. I think of, like, Andy and his movie. Like, yeah, that's where mm-hmm. my mind went. I could be wrong. But, I mean, you know, fixing and building. We're talking about building and things are being built in, in here. Or we're talking about changing the way we, our health is and our the way that we eat and the way that we live and there's livestock and you know like things very small things but but they were reality Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and when battles are won in the spiritual realm freedom is here right like Mm -hmm. what is that what what does jesus pray what you bind on earth will be bound in heaven yeah or yeah is that what it is loose on earth will be loosed in heaven yeah the prayer he prays it right yeah. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as, as it, it is, is in, in heaven. heaven. Mm-hmm. So it was like as heaven is the reality of that. Mm-hmm. I mean, I know that's a reality, but it's hard for us to have that reality because we're all flesh and blood. Mm-hmm. Right. But he's obviously bringing us into some mm-hmm. sort of understanding spiritually. So mm. I don't know. Exciting. <laughs> <laughs> and crazy. Yeah. Mm. Well, Lord bless it. Yeah. I wanted to show you, Nicole, I showed this to uh, Rachel. 